Hi everybody, I am here, this is Dr. Keisha Yours to talk about the wonders of inositol. And I did a little um, uh, blog post this week and gave everybody a 20% off. And I wanted to make sure that I could address any questions. So if you go onto the Dr. Keisha um, site on Facebook, which I'm going to get over to right this second, and you can put in your questions there and I will answer them. So for now, what I just wanted to do is go through and talk about some of the game-changing things that uh, happen when you take inositol. So people with polycystic ovarian syndrome have often taken inositol for years and they know the wonders of it. It helps to regulate your testosterone levels. It helps you to be able to metabolize your hormones properly. Therefore, helps with uh, weight balance, which is just fantastic. And it's great for brain and mood, which who among us uh, doesn't need some of that? <laughs> and so when we look at this, we, we can think about inositol as the hormone precursor or um, helper that doesn't get enough press. We often hear about estrogen and testosterone and progesterone, but we never hear about inositol, which used to be classified as a B vitamin. So we can kind of think of it as sort of a pseudo B vitamin. Um, it has similar actions in the body, which of course is necessary for so many different functions, such as making us so that we don't feel anxious and helping with our cognitive function, our memory, helping us when we have uh, lack of motivation and very little interest in things. Inositol will help with that. It helps with blood sugar regulation. And, and again, with not without the side effect profile of some of the other things that people are prescribed in their doctor's offices like uh, serotonin up reuptake inhibitors like Prozac and Lexapro and Paxil, inositol and research goes head to head with those drugs without the debilitating side effects like low libido and weight gain and a uh, ceiling on your mood. I don't know if anyone's been on antidepressants. Uh, what it, when an antidepressant is great for is keeping you out of those deep, deep dips in mood but also prevents you from hitting the wonderful, <laughs> happy moments. Like when you walk past a playground and see a swing sitting there and think, oh, I would love to go swing. A lot of times when you're on an antidepressant, you don't feel that uh, motivation to go swing like you did when you were a kid and wanted to just be free. So inositol doesn't leave you with that, that lid on your mood. So I often will give people that if they say, that they're struggling with their mood, I, uh, especially women. And it works a lot more in women. Hi, Susan. I love it when you pop up and say hi. <laughs> Makes me think I'm not just out here talking to my phone. There's actually somebody that's communicating with me. <laughs> so another thing that inositol helps with is lethargy. And I don't know if people have a hard time ever getting out of bed and just feeling, oh, when they wake up and not being able to get that bounce. Um, I think of the bounce like Tigger, you know, Tiggers want to have fun, fun, fun. Uh, inositol will help with that when, again, antidepressants don't allow you to do that. Um, helps with, there's some research with eating disorder clients, um, people that have food cravings to the point of binging, like bulimia. Inositol is helpful with decreasing those cravings and helping to decrease binging in that pattern. So again, works better in women than men in this. And I think that's because inositol has an effect on estrogen. And so since we're the keepers of more estrogen than men, it's going to be more effective for us. Uh, breast tenderness, swelling, headaches, joint and muscle pains, often again, side effects of not metabolizing estrogen well, and inositol helps with these. Um, one of the most common words I hear is a self-descriptor from women is feeling overwhelmed. And in fact, I just had this experience yesterday once again with a patient that was sitting across the desk from me, and I said, I really want you to practice the stress-busting toolkit. She was in fight or flight all the time. I was looking at her adrenal uh, stress index test results, and her cortisol was sky high in the morning. 
which meant she was waking up anxious. And I said, this looks like you're waking up anxious. And she said, yes, I'm waking up anxious. And I said, well, you need to practice the tools that I teach in the audio portion of the Stress Busting Toolkit, which you can get on drkeisha.com. Hi, Dana. So nice to have you guys saying hi. Uh, so she started crying. And, and this is something I teach my health coaching students. If your client is sitting across from you and starts crying when you ask them to do some kind of self-care, that means that they need that more than anybody. It means that if you're that strung out with your schedule, that you really must do self-care or you're going to get very sick. Okay, so Susan asks me, what about postmenopausal women with low estrogen? So, uh, inositol is great. It's not going to make your estrogen go down. It makes it metabolize properly so that you convert your hormones properly. It doesn't give you estrogen and it doesn't take away estrogen. So it won't affect those levels. It affects conversion. So it's that's a great question, Susan. So for those folks that are feeling overwhelmed, inositol helps with that because it helps with some of the dopamine neurotransmitter component as well as uh, the serotonin. Uh, Paula, hello. Um, I really love inositol for that. In and but here's the thing. I want you to take inositol and then check in with your overwhelm because if you're still feeling overwhelmed, inositol doesn't change your life, right? It doesn't change the fact that you might be overscheduled. So, but it does give you that space that you can kind of take a look and get rid of the overwhelm, pull it down, and then relook at your schedule and see if there are some things that can be taken out so that you're not feeling that overwhelm. Um, I'm actually looking for a plug for my battery. My my phone's just about to go dead. So <laughs> this may be cut short. So another thing that inositol does is it helps with um, mood swings, with anger and irritability. So um, studies that have been done with people with PMS um, and really severe PMS will help their symptoms go down, that irritability, the mood swings, the anger, the short fuse. And I can definitely identify with that. Uh, when I was a little younger, uh, I'm closer to menopause now and that's starting to ease off. But I used to, as a Pitta person in the Ayurvedic spectrum, I used to definitely have that irritability around my period. So it's really good for that. Uh, Paula says, is it best to take inositol away from food? Yes, it's great for absorption if you can take it away from food. And uh, if it gives you an upset stomach, which isn't normal, but remember that everybody's a little different and how we tolerate things it will be a little different, then take it with food because it will still work. These are all great questions. You guys are asking super good questions. Um, again, so decreased interest in activities. If you're finding that you're not as passionate about the things that you used to love, then as Nasital can help with that too because again, it's working with that dopamine and serotonin neurotransmitter milieu, which has to do with contentment and satisfaction and motivation and interest and passion. So um, again, really fantastic for that. What other questions do you guys have? You're coming up with such great ones. I love this. Um, helps with insomnia or sleeping too much. Hi, Julia. I am, a lot of my health coach students are on here and I love that. So yes, your clients for my health coaching students can really benefit from a lot of different things with using inositol because it, since it's outside of your scope of practice as a health coach to prescribe things for mood, your clients win because they're not being put on these toxic things and you can actually help them with root cause and that could be hormone conversion. Julia Stringham Crowell, hello Julia. How are you? Um, Paula says, is your supplement the Mayo Inositol? Yes, it is. And uh, this is a more easily absorbed version and uh, the quality on it is fantastic. So it's a nutraceutical grade, which I don't know if you know what that means. It's a pharmaceutical grade regulated, but it's done through a supplement company instead of the pharmaceutical industry. And it really works very, very well. All right, what other questions do you guys have? 
I'm afraid my battery's going to die. This is terrible. <clears throat> okay, so anxiety and tension. Feelings of being on edge. This is another one that it helps. Hi, Trish. If we feel like we would like to take this, what dosage would you start on? So the functional nutrients um, dosage you'll find in the blog that I just wrote uh, that you can use anywhere from 100 to 800 milligrams in a day depending on what's going on with you. So people that have really severe PMS can take up to 800, um, and, but I would start at a couple of hundred in a day. Dana says, I have used it as a powder and shakes in the past. Add a bit of flavor too. Would you recommend? Sure, absolutely. Especially Dana, I know you. And um, inositol is wonderful for fertility issues. For some people that I work with, I've used inositol with them. And it really helps with fertility. Why? Because it's helping with hormone conversion. So um, that's a really fantastic way of, of working with it too. And you're going to want those higher doses for that. Um, so it kind of depends on what's going on. If you just have a little bit of, no, I just want to look and see because uh, my weight's high and I feel kind of estrogen puffy, then I can start at a couple hundred milligrams and I can go up to 800 milligrams. It's um, really wonderful for OCD, but it's going to have to be at a higher dose for that. Because remember, that's all about anxiety over not having control. So anxiety and depression need to be a little higher dosing. So 18 grams a day, actually, um, is what is being used for taking out binge eating. So 18 grams is pretty high when it comes to um, usage for uh, starting out. So I will usually start people, like I said, one gram, two grams, three grams, and just work with it and see what you get. Um, working as like a health, one of my health coach students with a client, and you're able to do that adrenal stress index, then you're going to look at their hormone levels and you can gauge if they're getting enough inositol from that. Paula helps with insulin resistance. Yes. Exactly. It's so good for polycystic ovarian syndrome for the, the insulin resistance piece. Dana, great. Thank you. Good. So um, two grams is the dosage that's on our bottle, I believe. Take one of those in a day. See how you feel. Um, repeat it again at noon. See, look at your scale. Look at your adrenal stress index. What's going on with your hormones? See what happens. Um, people that have manic depression that are, that are bipolar and taking lithium, uh, one of the byproducts of lithium side effect can sometimes be psoriasis and inositol helps with that. So it has some pretty significant benefits because it then doesn't get rid of the good side effect or the good benefit of lithium, but it takes away its side effect of psoriasis. So. Um, it's been used in some of the autoimmune disorders also, which fantastic because we know that women get more than 80% of autoimmune diseases because we have more estrogen. And that estrogen receptor piece is a big player in all of this and inositol helps with that too. So, okay. Other questions? You guys are asking great questions. I am going to... Um, Make sure that I reiterate that uh, for the health coaches that are watching, if somebody's having bulimia and you're working with them, then you're not going to say, okay, well, take this inositol and it's going to help you. Um, you're going to make sure that you work with an eating coach with them too, right? You want to make sure that you're in your scope of practice and they have some other support with emotional work and not just inositol. But inositol is a great helper in there. Susan says, so good for thyroid issues. Yes, um, but again, not as the only thing. It's a good helper. Um, I find that when I'm working with someone with polycystic ovarian syndrome with blood sugar resistance, I use things with gymnema in it, the glucotrim, some of the things on my website, and inositol. How many grams is your dose? It's two grams. And so if you're giving somebody, you know, 18 grams in a day, which is the high dose for reducing bulimia, bulimia binge eating, um, that's, you know, that's nine in a day. So you can see that's a pretty high dose when two is kind of standard. So two's 
Two, you can start with in the morning, see how you do. Remember, this isn't replacing your doctor's advice. <laughs> but you can start with that and then use the adrenal stress index to check hormones and see how things are going. If someone's really high in testosterone, I would give them, you know, three times a day that inositol, that dose of inositol, so that they're getting six grams. And then I would recheck them in about three months and see how they're doing with their testosterone levels. So a lot of male pattern baldness in women um, that are having problems with testosterone, inositol helps them convert it better into female hormones and reduce that testosterone. So just, it's really fantastic. What other questions do you guys have? All right. So difficulty concentrating. That's another one. I was just looking over at my uh, blog that I wrote. So you guys can go on drkeisha.com and there's a whole blog about this. And again, you have a 20% coupon there also. Uh, so one of the things we're looking at with difficulty concentrating is, again, it's that dopamine component. So dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine helps us concentrate. So really, really super good when you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm ADD and I can't figure out how to concentrate. Try some inositol. No side effect profile. All right, Paula says, great info. Thanks. You're welcome, Paula. Thanks for joining. I am going to go ahead and finish up if no one else has any questions and just say, let me know on the drkeisha.com Facebook and uh, ask me questions there and I'll answer them. And let me know how you like it. Let me know what your results are. And for your health coaching students that are on here, make sure that you uh, let me know how you like it too. Julie says, what ages can you start using this? Teenagers. You don't want to give it to little kids. Um, Susan... Is this something that's suggested for someone with prediabetes? Yes, absolutely. That is a really good use for it because it helps with the blood sugar regulation. Look at my students. You guys have such good questions. Yes, it's really fantastic for that. And in fact, it's part of the weight loss kit on the drkeisha.com site and store because of that. Because uh, it helps with the regulation of blood sugar. All right. I am going to say goodnight to everybody. Make sure you go into Facebook and drkeisha.com, uh, Dr. Keisha professional site, and ask me questions. Let me know how you like it. And my students, make sure you ask me in the Facebook private group um, for the Academy for Integrative Medicine. Oh, he is, Susan? Well, that's Gymnema and reducing fruit and sugar in his diet and alcohol. And then give him inositol. That's a good one. And let me know how it goes. Um, you can submit him as a case study uh, in, your, in your coursework, and I'll help you with it. Diane, hello, and you are most welcome, and thank you for joining. All right, good night, everybody.